Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> it's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were Rabbit. So, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were Rabbit, is about when Wallace and Gromit are out to discover the mystery behind this whole garden sabotage. Then one day, Gromit discovers that it's actually a were rabbit. We don't know where this were rabbit comes from, but trouble does ensue and there's a little twist to this whole were rabbit. So before I do go on to review this movie, my guest star Adam Haskell is going to review it. So Adam, take it away, dude. Thank you, Twenty Two Tiger Dude, for letting me be part of your review for Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were Rabbit for their Halloween reviews. So Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Uh, I remember seeing this movie back in theaters, actually, back, I think it was 2005, if I'm not mistaken, I think around then. I remember not really liking it then, but as I got older, it got better and better as the years went on. I just recently re-watched it this year, and it was awesome. I mean, it's one of those movies that I don't know if a little kid will like as much as someone who's a little older, because Wallace and Ra Gromit is one of the more, in my opinion, mature uh, DreamWorks animated movies. Now, this is a different kind of thing for DreamWorks. Usually, they're known for their CGI. When this back came out, this came out back then, this was, I think this was, if I'm not mistaken, this was stop motion animation. So, it was like, it looks fantastic, though. The pace in this movie is phenomenal. My favorite thing about this movie is by far the humor. I mean, when I was a little kid, I didn't really understand a lot, and that's what I didn't really enjoy it too much when I was little, because I didn't understand a lot what was going on, but watching it now is hilarious. The humor in this movie is actually very clever, and that is awesome, because I don't think there's much, honestly, in my opinion, there's not a lot of clever DreamWorks movies out there. I mean, I like DreamWorks, but the only other really clever one, like the really clever one I can think of is Shrek, and... This, I like how this is more of the adult humor and not so much of the, like, little kid humor, like that, like the poop jokes, far jokes. I mean, there still is stuff like that in here, but it's way more going the adult route in this one. I really liked that. But my, by far my favorite thing is that DreamWorks managed to make this stop motion. And it was just, I was just so happy that DreamWorks managed to ha finally have a stop-motion movie, because usually they're just playing out CGI animation, so it was really cool watching a stop-motion animation for a DreamWorks movie. It was really a different thing for them to do, and I really enjoyed it being stop-motion. But I just think this is one of the better-written DreamWorks films out there. It's very well-written. I mean, it's it's Wallace and Gromit, but it's the best. I've, I don't really... I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not like a die-hard Wallace and Gromit fan or anything. But this was a really clever film. I mean, back when I was little, I don't think little kids are going to enjoy this too much. They won't be scared by it by any means. I mean, the were rabbit's actually really funny. Actually, it's one of the clever elements of the film. I really laughed at that. Uh, the voice acting's all terrific, too. Every voice actor did fantastic. I'm not going to explain them all, though, because that would just take forever. There's a lot of voice actors in this movie. But I'm just going to start by saying they're all fantastic. The guy who plays uh, Wallace is great. The guy who plays Gromit is great. They're all great. Oh, well, the guy who plays Gromit, Gromit doesn't even talk. What am I saying? Anyways, uh, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. I love this movie. It's a great film. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. Uh, mainly because I don't know if it, if it would be a film that a lot of little kids would like. I know it's more from going for more of the adult route, but when I was little, I didn't really care for it too much. It took me a little while to like finally get into the film. Like Every time I watch it, I enjoy it more and more, and I think it's one of those films that's just going to be like that. Because it's really going for more of the, like, really adult route. I mean, some of the humor in here. There's a few dark moments in here, too, that I thought really added some depth. There's a good amount of heart in here. And it's a really great DreamWorks movie. I think it's one of the best, honestly. And it was really different for DreamWorks to do. It's a really different project for them. It was a little bit more risky. But I thought it was one of the better DreamWorks movies. Not the best. My favorite is probably Shrek, the first one. But still, this is still up there as being one of my favorites. So thank you for playing to Tiger, dude. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, so yeah, thank you for letting me be part of your review for Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Wear Rabbit. Thank you so much, Adam, for reviewing Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Wear Rabbit.
Wallace and Gromit are just such magnificent characters and I was really happy that they were able to make a full length movie out of these characters. So The Curse of the Were-Rabbit in my opinion is really good. I really enjoy watching this movie. It's definitely very fun. It's definitely a wonderful movie to watch during the Halloween season. Kids could enjoy this and adults could even enjoy this. Hell, it even has humor that the adults can understand but the kids wouldn't. Not that the humor is anything too dirty but the adults are going to be able to kind of understand the humor that will go over the little kitties heads just a bit. The claymation in this movie is phenomenal. The way the characters move, the stop motion, the photography, everything they did for this movie looks breathtaking. You felt the passion, you felt the heart, everyone that created this movie brought their A game and they really succeeded. The script is clever, very well done, the voice acting is tremendous, Peter Salas does a phenomenal job as the voice of Wallace. Of course no one voices Gromit because he's a silent character, but really that's what makes the character so unique and so likable. The fact that he just talks with facial expressions. Ralph Fiennes does a really good job here. Helena Bonham Carter does a really good job here. Everyone does a great job with their voice work. And the whole thing with the were-rabbit I felt was very clever. And there were even a few times where the film could get just a tiny bit dark actually. The music for this film is done by Julian Knott. And Julian does a fantastic job. The music fits the overall movie so perfectly. And the climax overall was quite exciting. It was very funny. Mainly involving this moment when Grummet is flying this airplane. I just love that whole sequence right there. The only problems I could say about this movie is that it is too short. And I know these claymation animated movies do feel too short they're usually 80 minutes and this one's at the 85 minute running time well including credits it's a little bit less than that once it ended i feel like i didn't get enough i actually wanted more of wallace and gromit but i know that's not possible because of that amount of work you have to do to move the characters in these movies and change the facial expressions i know that's already hard enough also i did feel like the ending of this movie was a bit rushed like they just wrapped it up a bit too quickly and then boom and credits comes but overall even though this may not be perfect because of the fact it was a really short movie you're in and out i still really enjoyed the hell out of wallace and gromit the curse of the were rabbit it is an outstanding piece of work in my opinion so overall i am going to give Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, three and a half out of four stars. Thank you very much, Adam Haskell, for reviewing this movie. Please check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description below.